All Dragons in the House of the Dragon series. Welcome to our comprehensive exploration of the legendary dragons featured in the House of the Dragon series, the captivating prequel to Game of Thrones. Adapted from George R. R. Martin's novel Fire and Blood, this series brings us back to a time when the Targaryen dynasty was at its zenith, with dragons soaring through the skies and playing pivotal roles in the power struggles of Westeros. In this video, we will delve into the stories, characteristics, and historical significance of each dragon that graces the screen in this epic saga. Balerion the Black Dread Though Balerion the Black Dread had passed away before the events of House of the Dragon, his shadow looms large over the Targaryen lineage. Balerion was the largest and most fearsome dragon ever to live, with his immense black scales and wings that could eclipse the sun. Ridden by Aegon the Conqueror during his unification of the Seven Kingdoms, Balerion's sheer size and power were unmatched, making him a symbol of Targaryen dominance and the terrifying potential of their draconic companions. Balerion's historical significance is profound. His flames forged the Iron Throne from the swords of Aegon's enemies, solidifying his role as a cornerstone of Targaryen power. The legacy of Balerion's might was a benchmark for all subsequent Targaryen dragons. His skull, preserved in the Red Keep, serves as a stark reminder of the raw power that House Targaryen once wielded and the formidable legacy they sought to uphold. In House of the Dragon, Balerion's presence is felt through the reverence shown by the Targaryen characters who aim to live up to his legacy. The Black Dread's monumental history underscores the potential and the peril of wielding Dragonfire, shaping the ambitions and fears of those who seek to claim or challenge the Iron Throne. Vagar Vagar, one of the original three dragons brought to Westeros by Aegon the Conqueror, plays a pivotal role in House of the Dragon. By the time of the series, Vagar is ridden by Queen Visenya Targaryen, marking her as the largest and most battle-hardened dragon alive. With her bronze scales and green-blue wings, Vagar's formidable presence in the skies is both a testament to her longevity and her ferocity in combat. Vagar's history is rich with significant battles and conquests. She played a crucial role in Aegon's conquest, helping to forge the Targaryen hold over Westeros. Her fearsome reputation was earned through numerous battles where her fire and strength turned the tide in favor of the Targaryens. As one of the eldest and most experienced dragons, Vagar embodies the enduring might of House Targaryen and their draconic allies. In the series, Vagar's role extends beyond mere combat. She represents the continuity of Targaryen power and the deep-rooted history that newer generations strive to honor and emulate. The presence of such a venerable and powerful dragon emphasizes the stakes of the Targaryen civil war, known as the Dance of the Dragons, where control of dragons like Vagar could determine the fate of the realm. Caraxes. Caraxes, often referred to as the Blood W.Y.R.M., is one of the most distinctive dragons in House of the Dragon. Ridden by Prince Demon Targaryen, Caraxes is known for his blood-red scales and exceptionally fierce temperament. His elongated body and sinewy build give him a serpentine appearance, making him one of the more unique and recognizable dragons in the Targaryen arsenal. Caraxes's combat prowess is second to none, characterized by his aggressive nature and unmatched agility in the skies. His fiery disposition mirrors that of his rider, Demon, making them a formidable duo in the battles of the Dance of the Dragons. Caraxes's role in the series highlights the destructive potential of dragons, as well as the deep bond between a dragon and its rider, a bond that can alter the course of history. Throughout the series, Caraxes is a symbol of raw power and ambition. His fierce loyalty to Demon and his relentless ferocity in battle underscore the themes of loyalty and rivalry that permeate the Targaryen civil war. Caraxes's presence in House of the Dragon serves as a stark reminder of the destructive capabilities of dragons and the perilous consequences of their use in warfare. Sirax Sirax, the dragon ridden by Princess Renera Targaryen, is notable for her striking yellow scales and her more temperate disposition compared to some of her kin. Named after a Valyrian goddess, Syrax is a fiercely loyal dragon, deeply bonded with Renera. Her presence in the series underscores the significance of dragon riders and their symbiotic relationships with their dragons. Syrax's character is defined by her protective nature and her readiness to defend Renera. 
Throughout the series, Syrax plays a pivotal role in Renera's claim to the Iron Throne, providing her with both a strategic and psychological advantage. The bond between Syrax and Renera is emblematic of the deep connections that define Targaryen dragon riders, highlighting the mutual trust and loyalty that underpin their partnerships. In House of the Dragon, Syrax's story is intertwined with Renera's struggle for power, illustrating the broader themes of loyalty, ambition, and legacy. Syrax's relatively gentle nature compared to other dragons emphasizes the diversity of dragon personalities and the varying ways in which they impact the lives and fates of their riders. Her role in the series is crucial in portraying the complex dynamics of Targaryen power and the pivotal role that dragons play in shaping the destiny of Westeros. Vermuthur Vermuthur, also known as the Bronze Fury, is one of the oldest and most powerful dragons featured in House of the Dragon. Written by King J. Harry's I. Targaryen, Vermuthur's bronze scales and immense size make him a formidable presence. His longevity and power reflect the stability and strength of J. Harry's reign, a period often referred to as the Golden Era of Targaryen rule. Vermuthur's history is marked by his pivotal role in maintaining peace and order during J. Harry's reign. As one of the mightiest dragons alive, Vermuthur was a deterrent to rebellion and a symbol of the king's unchallenged authority. His sheer size and power ensured that J. Harry's could project Targaryen strength across the realm, solidifying the dynasty's grip on the Iron Throne. In House of the Dragon, Vermuthur represents the ideal of Targaryen power used wisely and justly. His presence serves as a reminder of the stability and prosperity that can be achieved when power is wielded with restraint and wisdom. As the series progresses, Vermuthur's legacy and the contrast between his era and the tumultuous times of the Dance of the Dragons highlight the drastic shifts in Targaryen rule and the consequences of internal strife. Malaise Malaise, known as the Red Queen, is a dragon with striking crimson scales and a golden mane. Ridden by Princess Rhaenys Targaryen, Malaise is known for her speed and grace in the sky, making her one of the most visually stunning dragons in House of the Dragon. Her agility and power are a testament to her prowess in battle, earning her a fearsome reputation. Malaise's significance in the series is underscored by her rider, Rhaenys, who is often called the queen who never was due to her being passed over for the throne. Their bond reflects the themes of unfulfilled potential and the struggle for recognition. Malaise's speed and combat skills make her a crucial asset in the Targaryen Civil War, where her ability to outmaneuver and outfight other dragons plays a vital role. In House of the Dragon, Malaise embodies the elegance and lethal beauty of dragons. Her presence in the skies is a vivid reminder of the Targaryens' formidable power and the deadly consequences of their internal conflicts. Through Malaise and Rhaenys, the series explores themes of legacy, ambition, and the bitter cost of being denied one's rightful place. Sunfire Sunfire, often referred to as Sunfire the Golden, is one of the most beautiful dragons in the Targaryen arsenal, with gleaming golden scales and wings. Ridden by King Aegon II Targaryen, Sunfire's stunning appearance is matched by his formidable strength and loyalty. His golden flames are as lethal as they are mesmerizing, making him a powerful symbol of Aegon II's rule. Sunfire's role in House of the Dragon is deeply intertwined with Aegon II's ambitions and his struggle for the Iron Throne. The dragon's beauty and power are a reflection of Aegon's aspirations to present himself as the rightful and resplendent king. However, Sunfire's journey is marred by the brutalities of war, highlighting the harsh realities and costs of the Targaryen Civil War. In the series, Sunfire's story is one of both majesty and tragedy. His glorious appearance contrasts with the devastating impacts of the Dance of the Dragons, illustrating the fleeting nature of beauty and power. Sunfire's experiences and his bond with Aegon too provide a poignant commentary on the burdens of leadership and the heavy toll of civil strife. Dreamfire Dreamfire, a dragon with sky-blue scales and a graceful build, is ridden by Princess Helena Targaryen. Known for her gentle nature and elegance, Dreamfire contrasts with some of the more aggressive and warlike dragons in the series. Her presence symbolizes the more peaceful and nurturing aspects of Targaryen dragon riding. Dreamfire's significance is closely tied to Helena's character, who is often depicted as a more introspective and compassionate member of the Targaryen family. 
Their bond highlights the diversity of dragon personalities and the varied roles they play in the lives of their riders. Dreamfire's serene nature does not diminish her power, and she remains a formidable force when called upon. In House of the Dragon, Dreamfire serves as a symbol of the lost potential for peace and harmony within the Targaryen family. Her story, intertwined with Helena's, reflects the complexities of power and the tragic consequences of the Dance of the Dragons. Dreamfire's presence in the series underscores the dual nature of dragons as both weapons of war and symbols of beauty and grace. Sea Smoke Sea Smoke, a pale gray dragon with a streamlined build, is ridden by Ser Laner Valerion. Known for his speed and agility, Sea Smoke is well suited for aerial combat and swift maneuvers. His pale coloring and fluid movements make him a striking and memorable dragon within the Targaryen fleet. Sea Smoke's role in the series highlights the importance of strategic mobility and versatility in the Targaryen Civil War. Laner's skill as a dragon rider, combined with Sea Smoke's capabilities, makes them a formidable pair in the numerous battles that shape the Dance of the Dragons. Sea Smoke's agility allows for quick strikes and rapid retreats, showcasing the tactical advantages dragons bring to warfare. In House of the Dragon, Sea Smoke and Laner's story emphasizes the broader theme of loyalty and the shifting alliances within the Targaryen factions. Their bond and combat prowess contribute significantly to the unfolding drama, illustrating the critical role dragons play in determining the outcomes of the conflicts that define this turbulent period in Westeros. Silverwing Silverwing, with her shining silver scales and calm demeanor, is one of the older dragons in House of the Dragon. She was ridden by Queen Alysanne Targaryen, the wife of King Jaehaerys I Targaryen, during a time of relative peace and prosperity. Silverwing's gentle nature and majestic appearance make her a beloved and respected figure among the Targaryen dragons. Silverwing's history is marked by her participation in several key events, including the exploration of lands beyond the Wall and her role in maintaining the peace during Jaehaerys' reign. Her bond with Alisan reflects the deep connection between dragon and rider, and their shared experiences highlight the potential for dragons to be more than mere instruments of war. In House of the Dragon, Silverwing's legacy is a reminder of the peace and stability that once characterized the Targaryen rule. Her presence serves as a stark contrast to the chaos and destruction of the Dance of the Dragons, underscoring the tragic decline from an era of harmony to one of conflict. Silverwing's story adds depth to the portrayal of dragons, showing them as integral to both the glory and the downfall of the Targaryen dynasty. The dragons of House of the Dragon are not just mythical creatures. They are central characters whose stories are deeply intertwined with the fate of the Targaryen family and the history of Westeros. Each dragon, with its unique characteristics and bonds with their riders, adds a layer of complexity and richness to the narrative. From the legendary Beleriand the Black Dread to the majestic Silverwing, these dragons symbolize the power, ambition, and tragedy that define the Targaryen legacy. As we watch their tales unfold in the series, we are reminded of the awe-inspiring and often devastating impact of these magnificent creatures on the world of Westeros. Thank you for joining us on this journey through legend and lore. Subscribe for more mythical tales and epic legends.